Hi everybody, Miss Melinda here, your spiritual worker from Miss Melinda's Metaphysical Services.com. I wanted to talk today about a very common problem or challenge that I see people facing. And this is the challenge of having your heart blocked. And when I talk about having your heart blocked, I'm talking about a blockage around your heart or your heart chakra from an energetic or a spiritual perspective. Many times this blockage is coming from an old pain that you have dealt with, that you have experienced but you haven't completely dealt with. It comes from emotions which you haven't released or you haven't let go of. It comes from fear of being hurt again. It comes from fear of fully feeling pain, dealing or dealing with pain. And pain and hurt does need to be fully felt and fully dealt with in order to release it, in order to release those blockages. I believe that one fear that people have that typically holds them back is they fear that giving into feeling intensely that pain or that hurt is going to cause them or their lives to fall apart. As if giving into that feeling is going to be then the only thing that they feel, that it's never going to change or to go away. That's not true. Um, what actually happens is that you have to feel it in order to release it. And once you have felt it and acknowledged it, you are able to release it, let go of it, and be free from it. It may be a process. It may be a very challenging process. It may throw your life off kilter for a short period of time. But is it worth it to live a happier, more fulfilled, fuller, more authentic life in the future? Most definitely, absolutely. So what happens is that you life becomes a lot easier after that. Your fear is that life is going to be harder. Your fear is that facing that pain or that blockage is going to be harder than living with it or trying to bury it. But I can tell you that it's much more difficult to live with it or to try to bury it or ignore it. Um, living with a blockage in your heart prevents you from many things. I'm bringing this up because very many people have difficulties in relationships because of this, and I do a lot of um, work for love and relationships. Very many people have a lot of problems with relationships because of this. It affects your trust. It affects your ability to be open with one another, to be honest with one another. It affects your ability to fully feel and be present in the moment and to be open and vulnerable and to really show and share yourself with somebody. Um, but it doesn't stop there. A lot of people don't recognize the fact that when you close yourself off, when you close your heart off to love and to relationships, that's not the only thing that you're closing yourself off from. You are also closing yourself off from receiving blessings and abundance in other areas of your life. Um, you're closing yourself off from receiving blessings of abundance and prosperity. You're closing yourself off from receiving spiritual love and spiritual connection to your guides or to the universe or to, to you know, whoever you want to feel that connection with. You're closing yourself off from all kinds of connections. Opening up your heart channel opens up a path of energy that is, that brings it that that's the channel where blessings flow to you, to you that is one of the main channels in your body and in your energetic being where blessings flow to you when i do a lot of work with abundance or prosperity the heart chakra is one of the things that i work on most and it's very effective in attracting what you need and what you want and in helping you to manifest those things. When you have a blockage there, you are not able to be open to receiving the love that the universe gives you. And the love that the universe and spirit gives you comes in many forms. It doesn't just come in love through other humans. It comes in love of life, love of being able to live in the moment and appreciate your life day to day. It comes in the form of wealth and prosperity. It comes in the form of opportunity and creativity. You need to be open to be able to receive these things, to be able to see these opportunities and to be able to fully fear and feel and experience these things. So 
This is another reason why it is so important to get rid of those old blockages. Get rid of those old blockages. Um, learn to release them. It doesn't always mean to feel those feelings doesn't always mean that you have to sit with those feelings and live with them and let it take over your life. There are also, depending on your circumstances, it does depend highly on you as an individual and on your particular circumstances. But depending upon your circumstances, there are ways to just let the emotion or let the energy flow through your body and out of your body as a way of releasing it. Um, you don't have to attach psychological drama to it. You don't have to attach dramatic emotion to it. You don't have to think about it. You can just feel it in order to release it. So there are different techniques that you can use in order to make this a smoother, easier um, transformation that occurs within you. Um, some of the ways that I would encourage you to start working on opening up your heart would be, first of all, to work on your heart chakra. There are a lot of different ways to work on your heart chakra. There are very simple meditations that you can use. Um, just laying flat and envisioning a green, glowing, warm, opening light flowing through your heart is the best way. It's very easy, very simple, and very effective. If you practice that for just a couple of moments each day, even like five minutes, two, two to five minutes even would make a huge difference. But I would recommend maybe 15 or 20 minutes to, to make even more of an impact on your life. So thank you so much for watching. I felt it important to talk about this because I encounter a lot of people who are experiencing problems with this. And I feel that, um, that it's a very important issue to work on within ourselves in order to create that inner transformation that we need to experience so that we can be the people that we need to be in order to achieve our goals and attain our desires, okay? Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to share the video with your friends. Um, comment below. Let me know if you have any questions about anything that I mentioned here or if there's anything that you'd like me to elaborate on. And don't be shy. Contact me and let me know if you have suggestions for future videos. I'm always happy to take your suggestions into consideration and also to make a future video which addresses your questions. Thanks so much and stay blessed.